you have a benzene to benzene interaction. That's a sound from a question. That's okay for me, okay? Okay. So last uh, part that I want to uh, recall today is that we can use NCA for very lar large systems um, because there is very little density reconstruction. So uh, there is very little interference when we, if you want to think about um, molecular orbitals. Uh, so we can just express the total density as a sum as a sum of atomic densities and each atomic density will be a sum of exponentials and these exponentials uh, so we will need like in basis sets the coefficient and the exponent and these we have fitted so they're inside the code so that means that you only need to know where the atoms are uh, for the pro molecular calculation this means also that um, you can do it for very large systems you will only need the atomic coordinates. It's a very fast, fast calculation. Um, and uh, for example, we can apply it to bio biomolecules, just the example from yesterday for the uh, alpha helix, where we get the hydrogen bonds and the van der Waals interactions. So we will also be looking at some of uh, these things during the exercises. And the last things, which are some additions that we've done to the la last release, is that we're using this promolecular concept to actually have numerical properties, quantities associated to the NCI regions. So basically, like in here, I, I can tell that, for example, this hydrogen bond is coming from these atoms. Imagine that um, the, if, since I know where these atoms are from, then I can define whether this part of the uh, space is coming mainly from hydrogen or this part where we have the NCI peak will be coming from both atoms and that's why we get a signal. So we can actually use that to define NCI volumes and NCI charges. Charges because we can integrate the electron density within these regions. And that's when we interesting. That, I, I have a question. Yes. Can I can I interrupt you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a question here because um, uh, as you are talking, it's possible to uh, get the charts from the NCI plot. Yes, yes. Uh, these uh, pro molecular density. Yes. You know, then uh, for example, if I have a trajectory from the MD simulations using the point chart, fixed point chart, okay, uh, it would be possible uh, to get from NCI along the trajectory the fluctuations of the chart, even if my force field is using the fixed point chart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. If you yes, are because it's not using, uh, the force field will be used to generate the geometries. But NCI plot has its own electron densities coded inside, so it will use the electron densities inside the code. Nice, and then I can I can see these uh, chart fluctuations along the trajectory. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, depending that's, on how fast we are doing, I can add an exercise on a trajectory. If we nice, finish good. early, I can add that for th uh, for Thursday. Yeah, good, nice. Yes. Interesting. And uh, what is interesting is that uh, when we integrate these charges, they correlate pretty uh, nicely, uh, given that it's a promolecular approach with the inter uh, interaction energies. So we can use them to estimate how things are changing along a trajectory, for example. And for that, we also need it to be fast. So that's also the, that's the last part I'm going to recall today. It's that at the beginning, we were calculating all these points and now we realized that we actually don't need to because we're only interested in this region, which is the low density, low S. So what we're doing now, it's using a very coarse grid around the molecule and finding where we have a low S and low density. And then we're just digging and making smaller and smaller grids at the end so that we have a, an accurate result, but only where we want it. And with this, the program is much faster and we've been applying it to molecular dynamics. 
So with this, I'm just going to uh, give you a, a very fast overview. Uh, are you all connected to the cluster, to SBMont, to SBMont? Yes, yes. Great. Yes. Okay. So let's uh, make a first try. So that's where you can download NCI plot if you want to install it yourself uh, in uh, your cluster. And the minimal input is ridiculously small. So that's how it looks. It's the number of files you want to read and their names. So let's make, uh, and then remember we can use wave functions or pro molecular. Um, if you, yeah. you, you want Fully. wave functions, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Just check. I, I can check here with, with, with them, please. Uh, guys, uh, I, I can, I, I want to see you here active. Okay. <laughs> so I'd like to know from you if everyone here knows about the WFN file. Uh, what yes. is this? Okay. Everyone here knows about the WFN file. And how can you get this, everyone? Uh, Josiane is uh, saying okay. Karine, no. Valby, okay. Yes. Karine, no. Okay, that's okay. I can add an exercise. Maybe, for... maybe you can. Uh, maybe, maybe you can. Uh, uh, yeah. After maybe Milena also no. So someone here. Uh, uh, never, um, uh, maybe I guess, uh, try to to generate the WFN from the QM okay. calculations. I'm going to go through one example, which is from molecular, so they don't need it. And right after, we can do the wave function so that they have everything and know how to do it. Good, good. Thank you. So wave function file, it's something that you can obtain from a quantum uh, uh, a quantum code, and it uh, it actually Okay, I'll go through the wave function file right after. It contains the information on the wave function. And the X, Y, Z is the promolecular I told you about. So it, it, it contains uh, the information, it uh, contains the information on the geometry of the molecule so that the density is computed internally by NCI plot. So whether so you don't need to tell whether you want pro molecular or wave function. The extension of the files you're going to give will determine it, but you cannot mix it. Either you use pro molecular or wave function. Okay. Let's start with X, Y, Z. That's how a, a, a file, uh, an X, Y, Z files look like. So here we have H2 at 2.5 Armstrongs. So the X, Y, Z file, hold on. There you go. So the XYZ file looks like this. Uh, it says two because there are two atoms. Then there is a blank line and you have the coordinates of the atoms in Armstrong. Okay. So the, if you just want to calculate this molecule, then your NCA plot input just looks like this one and the name of your XYZ file here. Okay. So you will need two files, the one with your geometry and the input file. Uh, try to cre create the, these two inputs and we will run them. Tell me how you're doing. Uh, Julia, they can they can uh, uh, also try to do that on the server, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking them to do. So do this in the server. Create the two files today. It's yeah. a test. Test. Uh, we don't need. We will not start with your exercises. It's um, just first... a, a kind of a test. Yes. Please uh, uh, try to do that. And in the meanwhile, I'll uh, I'll get some 
uh, WFN ex uh, exercises. Julia, please. Uh, they they are they are asking here about if you if you can uh, share again your screen to see the file, the input file. Okay, I will. Because you are you are using yes your screen to to tell yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes, because uh, I'm preparing for the things right after. But um, hold on. Uh, uh, hey guys, just a minute. Hey guys, you can access uh, these uh, slides. Uh, we we sent it to you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Email. Then you can open the PDF there and see the input file. Okay. Josiane, uh, please. Uh, we wrote to you. Yes, everyone here has this PDF file. Okay, the slides, you have these. Okay, did you find it? I, I finished here so I can share it. Okay, good. So do you all have this file now, these two files? Do you remember how to create files? Hello guys, please. Uh, everyone here is um, completely free to talk, okay? Open Absolutely. your audio, interact with Professor Julia with no shine, please. Uh, they are they are uh, replying here in, on the chat. That's okay. Okay. Um, they got it.
So now you will have to create uh, your bash file. They already did, Luciano, or not? We can, we can. Um, but, but yeah, we can, we can see. Maybe uh, if, if it's possible, you can try to uh, give a zoom. Yes. Uh, Hold on. Okay. Okay. So you so you will need to add these things. To yeah, your exactly. In your dot bash rc on the server. Okay, so the file it defines your your aliases, and if uh, you so you need to edit this file, which is in your home. If it doesn't exist, you have to create it. I, I'd like to know if he, everyone here uh, on the terminal uh, on the Santos Dumont server is. Um, uh, getting to to execute the inside plot there, okay? Yes, Arthur, please tell me what's the problem. Uh, my VI doesn't work in the as the moment. The server? Sorry, the inside plot is not working there. No, my VI. Uh, my phrases and I can't type anything even if I write to dot Q and I can't exit the VI. So I need to close the terminal and open it again, but it doesn't work. Even if I write I and try to type something, it doesn't work also. So, so what are you else? Maybe you can share your screen and we can guide you. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to look for a, it's getting cold here. I'm going to look for a jacket. Okay. So that's my VI. I try to write two dots and nothing. Yeah, so, so I open it. Okay. Uh, and I enter the as you want. I write my as and then when I write VI or Vim? No, try, uh, try VI, not Vim. It's entered. Okay, the try, click, 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 insert uh, button. Insert or I. I. Make I, a I. I this. La letra I. I letter, okay. yes, click on I letter on the keyboard or insert. Oh, I, I'm doing it and it doesn't work. But, have Here. you clicked on the letter E? But, but it doesn't work. I have I in my PC, I use it uh, like I can use it in my terminal, but not in the SMO. Whoa. Uh, here this uh, because okay th this is occurring with other guys in on the server or just uh, for the Arthur because here is okay I can use VI there yes hello moto yes It's also looking normal for me. I mean, no problem. I really don't know what's going on. Mm. Well, uh, here, here, because Josiane also, uh, okay. 
once you are, can you go out of the VI and do LL? Uh, I can't quit the VI, but I can open a new tab and enter again the okay. SMO. Okay. Let's uh, look at the at your um, permissos. Okay, L S minus L. Okay, so you have writing permissions. Yeah, yeah. Please, uh, Arthur, try, try to to give V I and tab. Tab. No, 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 no. Not not space. V I and click on tab. Okay. So. Just VI only. Now enter. Enter. Okay. And okay. Yes. Right uh, click on click on the insert insert or a letter E, the letter I. And okay, I'm doing it. Not happens. Nothing Nothing. happens. Okay. Here. Oh, oh. Okay. So go out from this. I can also, but I can enter the SDM again. Okay, try, try, try nano, nano. Okay, I, okay. Okay, try to use nano, nano uh, tools, nano edit, edit editor. No, no, I never use it. But yes, try. exactly. Try. Okay, no, no, it's it's rolling. And, uh, no, no, yes. Uh, try to use no, no, uh, editor. Maybe can help you. Okay, uh, I can I can see what's uh, what we can do for the uh, tomorrow class because uh, we need to to fix it. Uh, I don't know what is now, but I can uh, uh, write to the help desk there and uh, try to, to have some answer. So Josiane also is having this uh, problem and Arthur, only Josiane and Arthur. Everyone, it's okay. Oh, yes, yes, Marcelo. Thank you, Marcelo, please, uh, Arthur. Arthur? Wait, sorry. Uh, I tried for but I can try now also. How can I exit? Yes. Okay, so we can we can try to fix it, okay, after uh, uh, the class. Uh, Julia, I can help then, okay? Okay. With, with that, please. Okay, for those who are um, who actually um, can edit, can um, Arthur, I'll, can you stop? Stop? Yeah, the sharing, and I'll show them. So you have to edit this file. Let me make it bigger. It has to be that name with the dot before. Yeah. I believe maybe I don't know uh, if he, they they had it ready because we shared before this. Um, instructions to, to them uh, okay. please yeah please check everyone here check on the Does server if you this? have yeah if you have these lines or uh, in your dot dash rc okay file look at if you have this um red for using the any set watch please 
Oi, Arthur. Oi, Henrique. Deixa eu... Caralho. Não, não, não sei o que tá rolando, já tentei pro Scratch também. Henrique e Arthur, é, estão aqui na chamada da aula. Eu, 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 uh, Arthur, Henrique, please. Uh, eu sei que vocês tem estão que o I, eu sei que tem que apertar aqui, cara. Ok. Uh, Arthur, Henrique, estão me ouvindo? Ouvindo, o meu microfone estava fechado. Não, é... Ok, ok, good. So, is this okay with everyone? Because uh, now, we, if you have not, if you had not done it, then you have to do this now. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay for all of them? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, great. So now you should have a file like this. Right? And you're just going to check whether the program is working by invoking it. You should obtain something like this. Did it work? Yes, yes. Nice. Okay, so let's go through it. So basically what it is telling you is remember that we're using, we're just analyzing a square of data, um, like in here, like I showed you. Remember, we're just using this square of data. So this, this is exactly what is it telling you here. What is the density and the S inside which we're analyzing the data. And for, the, for this square of data, it is going to produce a DAT file. The DAT file has the um, raw, it's a 2D. So let me show you. So it's two columns. This is the density times the sign of the second eigenvalue. So this is what goes in the X axis. And this is the Y, this is the uh, reduced density gradient, MCI. So then this one, you can just plot it with Genu plot, for example. So I didn't open my X uh, file, so I will not be able to show it, but it's, it, if you do Genu plot, if you open your X, so that you can visualize, you can do this plot here. Well, not with colors, this is another one. You can do this plot here. Okay? So for those who open the X, uh, you can try to do it. Is I can try to connect again. Um, with my X Hold on. turned on. Oh, no.
this is a, these are just data, so you can open it with uh, Excel or whatever you like, or whatever plotting device you like. It's not working. Okay, for some reason it is not working, my X. I try, try this again tomorrow. But the important part is that you also have these cube files. So you have this one is a, a de the data on a 3D grid of your density, this one of your reduced density gradient. And you have this, which is a script to visualize with a BMD. So basically, you can transfer these files and I'll show you what comes out. So, um, so I have them here. So once you transfer them, like for example, I have them here, you can open them in your computer with VMD. Depending on whether you're using Linux or uh, Windows, in Linux, you can just go directly to the to the place where you have to just can just launch VMD from the repository where you have it. Uh, in Windows, you have to give the address. So I have to go to where I have my files. Ah, they're not here. Sorry. Uh, Julia. Yes. Yeah, Karini, uh, I think, uh, uh, talked about a, a doubt that yes. maybe she, she had. Uh, Karini, please, uh, if you if you want, you can uh, tell me in Portuguese, and I can I can help you and try to talk to Professor Julia, please, Karini. Oi. Então, é, eu criei, consegui criar os arquivos, rodei, mas me perdi. Não, não consegui executar, mas você conseguiu executar com o Unicei Plot? Sim, sim, consegui. Aí gerou, gerou um arquivo, gerou. o ponto .dat, o cube, o IMD, mas eu me perdi mesmo Aí, dali, depois, depois daí. Ok, não okay, so, worry. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, it. Yeah, so, uh, basically, you have to transfer your cube files to your uh, to your computer. Okay, amazing. Because visualizing them using VMD on a cluster, it's really slow. So it's better to transfer the files and then open them. I already, I had already transferred them, so. But and it totally depends on what uh, operation uh, on what you're using. So if you're if if you're using Linux, just uh, do SCP. Então, eu estou usando Windows. Okay, so <laughs> do you have something? Okay, so how do you uh, connect to the cluster? What do you use? A virtual machine? PowerShell. PowerShell. So, so you can PowerShell to transfer the files. Yeah, you can, Karini. You can transfer everyone here. Uh, please transfer the output files, the VMD, okay, and other files, the cube file, to your machine. Okay. So you have to... Yeah. I, I I can I can help uh, then here uh, on the chat. SCP, okay, to, tra to transfer, RCP, your login, just a minute, so 
So, for example, in my case, I don't remember the name, it's something like this. Ah, no, they're not, uh, we're in the, ex where were we? Hold on. I, I can I can put here the whole the whole path. So whatever you were, if you were working directly here, you can just uh, use this. Arch. So uh, should I stop? I, I, you you can you yeah. can show them. Yes. Julia, I'm uh, sorry. Maybe Julia, I can share my screen here and yeah, show yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Listen. Yes. Minute. So, are you looking at my terminal, okay? Vocês estão vendo meu terminal, então? Okay. Uh, for example, uh, I, I'm here in the ter on the server. The path is that one. is cred, comp, can, luciano.costa3, okay? Here I have these files, for example, this zip file, okay? And... Here, in the, on this terminal, I, ha, I have here, I'm here in my laptop, okay? So, I can transfer the files using this path, scp command, okay? scp. Uh, the login is your login. For example, for me here is luciano.costa3, okay? And you need to put your login here. Uh, so the, the, the IP or the domain of the server is that one, login.sdumon.lncc.br. Okay? So, and here you need to put the path. For example, my path is that one here, scrap, comp, cam, copy. Okay, and paste the path and the file you need to transfer, for example, this one. And space dot. So with this uh, command line, you are transfer, transferring these, any side plot, for example, this file from the server to your laptop, to your terminal, okay? For example, and then they ask the, the password. Okay, transfer it. Can you see on, 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 my, on my screen? Yes, the file was uh, transferred, okay? With the success. Uh, if you want, for example, if you want to transfer every directory, every file inside a directory. For example, uh, here I have this directory, inside plot exercises, exercise one, for example. Uh, inside a folder exercise one, we have a lot of other files here, okay? And I want to transfer all files inside a directory to my laptop. So I can do that. PWT is uh, the path, the whole path, okay? Enter on the folder. The whole path is here. And this is the whole directory. Copy. Put this whole path here. OK. 
can you see my my terminal the command is the whole command is scp your login okay at login as the moon blah 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 two points yes two dots the whole path where the folder is on the server scratch comp can lucian.costa3 blah 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 exercise one and before or after the SCP, you need to put a trace, yes, R, and space dot. And all files, can you see? All files are transferred to your laptop. So everyone could uh, see my, my screen and understand. Tudo ok, Karine? Entendeu como transfere? Sim, sim, consegui transferir já. Obrigado. Good, good. Okay, Julia, please. Yes. So once you have transferred the, um, the files, you have to open them with BMD. Um, for that, you can, if you're in under Linux, you can just go to the to where you transferred them. Otherwise, if you're in uh, Windows, you will have to say new molecule and look through it here. Okay. I do it with a command because I for me it's faster, but okay. You say file. Is everyone has everyone opened VMD? And transfer the files. Sorry, I'm not sharing. And nobody told me. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, I'm going back to the window. Okay. So. Everyone has opened VMP? Yes. Okay, so now you go to File, New Molecule, Browse. So those under uh, Linux, you're lucky because then you can just do File, Load Visualization State, and choose uh, the VMD file that I did not even transfer because I didn't, I, I cannot use it directly. But do you remember there is a blah, blah, blah dot VMD file? If you transfer it to and you load it, then the picture, you will not have to do everything that I'm going to do now because it will load directly. If you have Windows, then you will have to do it step by step. So you go to new molecule, you say browse, and you choose um, your dense file. So this one, okay? You choose it, and you say open. Is everyone following? And you load it. And now you do not close this window. This is the most important step. You don't close it, you go and you browse again and you choose the other one, the grad. And you open it 
and you load it. Why am I saying you don't have to close this window? Because now we have two frames. That means that the program knows that it is the same molecule with two different data. If we close this window, we will have the, we, the program will load them as two different molecules. So we cannot use the data together, okay? So once we have our line with two frames, that's very important. Is everyone okay up to here? Did someone working on their Linux already load the VMD file so that they show us? Pessoal, vocês podem abrir o áudio e falar português com a Rúlia, ela vai entender. Please, everyone here, if you are trying to, to speak or try, try to speak in English, uh, uh, you can answer her in Portuguese. And, uh, okay, please. When, uh, when she are asking you uh, so active and uh, reply to her if you are okay for you or not, please. The, actually, I told Luciano that I could not take many students so that this class was interactive, so that if you have problems, we can help you. So the okay, point good. of not being many is that I can help you. Yeah. Did you understand, guys? Yes, yes. So, everything um, is working fine up to now? Yeah, I mean, it was in Linux and for me it's okay. Okay, so you loaded the VMD file? Yeah. And how does it add and share? Okay. Okay. Now you share uh, your screen. Uh, just a minute. Nice, good, hold up. I like it, good. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. Perfect. Uh, here it is. Um, I can see both the atoms and the, the NCI region. Absolutely. So this is uh, because uh, under Linux, uh, so this is mainly done for people. Uh, so I always use it in the university, so I have also Linux. So, um, so with the Linux, you just load the VMP file. Can you show them how you did it? So can yep. you close it so that they see how fast it is? Okay. Uh, actually, I I'm doing this in my laptop. Yeah. On my laptop. So. I came here on file. Low visualization. Low visualization state, and select the VMD file, and that's it. Okay, um, very nice. Thank you very much, Marcelo. Okay, I, I have a question, Professor. Please. Yes. Uh, I have seen that some of the NCI region is like a perpendicular shape with the bond direction. Yes. Um, is always that that the case? For example, um, here, just by looking at the, the NCI region, can I infer that this bonding that is the direction is perpendicular to the region is pretty there much yes to... absolutely okay why uh, because um, hold mm -hmm. on ah um in zoom we can picture uh, can i draw with uh oh, no, just, just just uh, um just a moment no i want you to draw on your screen <laughs> Ah, I see. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That's okay. So if you if you picture it from, uh, for example, the what I showed you here from, uh, okay. So actually, if this is going to be an exponential electron density from each atom, right? Yes. So the region where the density is mainly flat is in this region perpendicular. Right? Mm -hmm. See, so that's yeah. where you get the, that's why the NCI, it's perpendicular to it. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I see. Okay. But it's a very nice question. Um, I, I have another question. Also. Okay. That's uh, good. No, you're having very good questions, guys. So I'm, I'm happy. Okay, Tell me. thanks. 
And my question is about the, I, I don't know how Gaussian works for, um, to be real, but um, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering about, um, actually I use most of the time uh, quantum express or um, yeah. I feel few times CS as well. So yeah. they to to, to um, calculate the density they use grid points. Yes. I don't know if Gaussian do the same. And how about the the convergence of the grid points to to represent this region the the so, right way? So uh, actually, it's true. As good Especially as in solid state, we uh, what the programs always print out is uh, cube densities. Yeah. Uh, grids. So. Actually, we use another program that is coupled to solid state codes. Uh, I can, it's called Critic. And uh, if you're mainly doing solid state, I can give you, I can send a manual later on, on that okay. one. Okay. Oh, nice. Thank you, Julian. Okay. So the main, the main choices we're going to go through today are the same ones, but the uh, input file is slightly different because you give a grid. A grid. But uh, oh, the, the manual I'm going to send you uh, explains, uh, it's like a, a couple of pages and it explains how to use it very thoroughly. It's so regardless the, so if I understood, regardless the, the grid I use to the calculation, for example, uh, an SCF calculation, I, I can uh, input another grid to, to perform the NCI plot, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Well, in the case of solid state, you will be calculating uh, because you will be using the wave function, the same in uh, molecules. You will be using the wave function to calculate the density at each grid point. Okay. So usually uh, you're not using, for example, your K points. You need a much uh, thinner grid. Oh, all right. All right. Thanks. Uh, Julia, uh, yes. can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, so I'm trying to use VPN on Windows. So I loaded the two files you, you mentioned, the, the dense cube and the grad cube, but I don't see anything in the visualization. Hold on, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Now it's uh, the tar for um, uh, Windows users. So we were here. Um. M Michael. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. Let 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 her uh, explain. Okay. So we are here. We go to graphics representations, and you don't see anything because the molecule by default appears in lines. So that's too thin. If you choose CPK, you have the atoms. You can just go on top uh, on the screen and uh, rotate. So all Windows users are uh, getting this. Yeah, I, okay. I see exactly that. Okay, exactly. Good. So this is the, we have our atoms. Now on top of this, we want the isosurface. So we say create representation here. Yes. And now we choose, instead of CPK, we say we want an isosurface here at the bottom. You see, actually what the program does, it's, it constructs this box around the molecule and it calculates a grid of density and uh, reduced density gradient points. Uh, we don't see the surface because it's in points. We have to say solid surface and we have to choose. Remember, we have to choose something that go, cuts the peaks. So zero does not cut the peaks, it's the minimum value. So you, we choose, for example, 0 0.3. And there you go. You have the surface. Okay. Now you're going to tell me it's not green. So that's the advantage of the all the VMD a script in Linux is that you don't have to do all these things. Now, you go to graphics, colors, and you choose color scale. Remember, we're doing blue, green, red. So here you have to choose BGR, blue, green, red.
Okay? And now you have to say the coloring, ah, sorry. You have to say that up to now it's using, it's just uh, doing the picture of the isosurface. Now we want to put the color on the isosurface. So the coloring method, we have to choose volume. And you get the green. Now you have also to fix here so that uh, we're using the same range as in the input. So we say minus three to three. And we're done. Good thing is that we can do this once and we don't need to do it again because we can do file, save visualization state, and you say age 2.5.vmd and the next time you will be able to load it just like the Linux users. Okay, so that's what um, that's a long range interaction because it's green. These two atoms are very far away. Now what I'm proposing is do the same for um, a distance of two Armstrongs and tell me what you see guys. So that's my next question. Up. So we have seen these different outputs. That's we have seen. That's what we have seen. That's the 2D plot I was not able to show you. That's the picture. And what I want you to do now is that you create everything for the two Armstrongs. So Go ahead and tell me what you find. Good. So I'll stop sharing just for us for now, so that if everyone has problems, you can share. So, whoever finishes first, uh, show us what you get. Did someone uh, get to do it? Uh, Julia, uh, yes. about the, the coloring scheme, uh, sorry if I got it wrong, but is it blue, red, green or red, green and blue? Blue, red, blue, green, red. B, E, R. That's it, yeah. Okay. I think I need help. Uh, Julia Carini, I think, uh, uh, is asking a help for you. Okay. For you. Tell me. Eu estou usando o VMD. Carreguei os meus dois arquivos, mas não consigo visualizar. Okay. Um, can you share your screen? Okay. Also, Marcelo, if I forget to send you the the um, the instructions for the other program, don't uh, hesitate to write to me because I have a very bad memory. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Now this is my screen. Yes. Ah, so okay. Remember, guys, I told you you it has to be one line, so that frames is two. 
So you have to start all over again, Karim. Oh, oh. All right. So you can delete those or just keep them, it doesn't matter. But then you have to um, do, uh, hold on, hold on, close, close, close. You see that you have um, one file with a D, you have to click on the D. Yes, so that it's not there. It doesn't click, just click, double click there. No, on the D, yeah. Okay, now start all over, file, new molecule, and you choose your dense file. Okay. Lo abrir. <laughs> A point, no, 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 yes, browse again. So you don't close this window. And now you charge the grad file. Oh, all yes. right. Load. Now you see that you have uh -huh. this. Why is it not loading? Okay, I will That's do all again. Weird. Okay, say browse again. No, no, don't close. Browse, grad. This? Yes. Abrir. Load. Ah, okay. Browse again. Dense. Abrir. Load. Load. Okay, now we have one too many, but that's okay. And now you go to... <laughs> uh, but you see that frames, it says three. Yeah. Okay, we have one, we have loaded one of them twice, but the important thing is that the two of them are there. Okay? <laughs> okay. So you go to molecule, and now you can do everything. Uh, graphics, graphics. Graphics, representations, and you choose CPK. Lines, where you say, where you see lines, below, 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 at the bottom, you see lines, drawing method yeah. lines. No, below, keep going down. I, I, don't, I don't know if I am understanding. Actually, I... I can help you. I can, I can help her, uh, Julia. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, Karine, eu, não, Karine, eu não acompanhei Karine. daqui para frente uh -huh. o que, que eu tenho uh -huh. que fazer. Vai, vai em uh, uh, drawing method, em, tá vendo? Drawing method, escolhe drawing method abaixo, e isso, C, CPK. Isso, uh -huh. ok, perfeito. Volta lá, criar representação, uma, no, uma nova, criar representação. Estou procurando onde está. Create, create happy, create ah, happy okay. acima, isso. Agora aí muda drawing method, em vez de CPK agora, vai em ISO surface, lá embaixo. Isso, ok. So, please, Julia. Yes, so now you choose coloring method. Coloring method, no, 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 no where you were, coloring method, volume, abaixo, yeah, volume, e, poi, trajectory, trajectory, ah, hold on, draw style, draw style, because you had many files, so, volta, isso, volta, em ISO valor, coloca 0.3, yes, Não, 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 não. Aqui abaixo, ó, ISO, ISO, value, ISO value, abaixo de range, coloca 0.3. Yeah. E dá enter. Uh, draw points, you change by surface. Não aconteceu 
Nada, eu mudei aqui o não, valor, mas... Não, porque você tem que escolher draw surface, em vez de points. Yeah. Solid surface. Isso. And now mm -hmm. you go, you see where you have vol, vol 2. Yeah, you choose grad. Okay, that's okay. You choose that one. Ah, ah there you go. <laughs> uh, good. Muito bom, Karina. Excelente. To, next to volume, we're going to check that you have the good one. Next to volume, coloring method volume, uh, al, al lado, hay un zero. Uh, boy, uh, dense. Let's call it dense. Yes. Boy, trajectory. My minus three, tres to tres. Boy. Boy. Um, um, close this window. Close graphical representations and go to graphics colors. Oh, I is red. No. Yeah, and color scale. No, no, no. Uh, next você... to it. Color. A, a, a direita. A direita. No, no. A você... direita. Então, aí eu preciso colocar as cores, não. né? Eu acho que é uma de cores. Não, Karine, Karine, tá vendo? Tem color definitions e color scale. É. Te, clica em color scale na aba. Isso. Ah. Agora, em método, em método, você vai lá em RGB. Não, é B... B... BGR, 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 isso, 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 não, já, já escolheu, já definiu, não foi? Julia, that's ok. Não, Col green. não vai, é, vai, vai em color scale, isso. Não, it's, it's, it's the good one, yes, but I think... Uh -huh. um... You change the offset, maybe, or the color definitions. What you changed color definitions, right? Ah, I don't know. Eu mudei. Sim, eu apertei aqui. E isso, você tinha mudado o default. Então sai, sai e default. E isso, clicou em default, não foi? Isso. Sim. Volta. Isso, volta. Vai direto em color scale. Eu não fui mas, mas aí eu posso, essa parte acho que eu posso ir cutucando. Julia, <risos> uh, I guess, Julia, uh, I, I guess Karine can try, ok? Uh, uh, yes. Wrong, and then uh, I can help her here on the chat. Yes, because there is something weird with her colors. Yeah, yeah, the, that's a kind of a configuration. Muito obrigada. <laughs> It's okay. So someone has the results so that we finish with that before the next uh, before the next uh, before the uh, presentations start. Hi, uh, Julia. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to do mine again now. Uh, maybe I can try to share. Absolutely. Um, so I'm, I hope you can see my my. We can screen. certainly see you diving. Okay. Uh, so I loaded the two uh, files. Yes. So just want to to revise this thing that I'm, I'm understanding correctly. So graphics representation, then I go to CPK. 
right? I will, I can send you a summary. Hold on. You okay. have, let me also, let me send you all, uh, cause I have written a summary of what you have to do so okay. that you don't have to memorize it. So. Yeah, I was just going to ask about this trajectory thing. Yes, so it, it's mainly something like in between minus three to three, minus five to five, something like that. Okay, okay, that's uh, Julian. Yes, uh, Julian. Maybe maybe to guide to guide them. Uh, one uh, interesting thing that NCI plot can do is uh, generate the the MD state file. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And 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 then we can use uh, directly the the VMD file. Uh, it that's possible for the Windows users. It is. Yes, it is. But they have to define the directory where they have it. Okay. Where the files are. Yeah, the we need to define for the VMD software. Yes. You, no, you have to open to you have to edit the script and define where to find the, the files. Okay, okay, in your computer. Yes, but once you've done it once, it's not, because uh, then actually, uh, ah, something very important. So for example, uh, let me uh, uh, share. So for example, if you now have, da -da 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 -da. Let's say that you have your new um, your new files for um, for the distance equals to two. Now, if you don't want to see this one and you want to load that new one, you can just do like this: click on D, which means display, and you go and open the new one. And all your preferences are pretty much kept. So you can load it, load it. And most of your, like the BGR selection is maintained, the ISO value is maintained. So you just have to change the volume definition and then you're done. See? So guys, this is the result since we're running late for 2.0. What do you see? I want answers. Come on. Um, I, I believe that it's... Um... It's like a hydrogen bonding. It's more intense. I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's I mean, bluish. it's not ex exactly. It's a strong interaction. So it's uh, going to a stronger electron density. Okay. Yes. So the two hydrogens are becoming closer. The distance I gave you at the beginning is the typical you find for a hydrogen hydrogen long range interaction in solid state. Now it's forming the H2 molecule. And the, the first th thing we will do tomorrow is to actually finish the formation of the H2 molecule so that we can follow all the range of interactions from non-covalent to covalent, okay? So first yeah, thing perfect. tomorrow is uh, H2 at the distance of H2 molecule. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. And Thank you one last thing, I wanted, I just gave you a link. This link is actually this file. So you have all the instructions of what you need to do. It's one page of what you need to do to in Windows to do the uh, picture and save it. Because I didn't sh show you how to save it. You just need to go to File, Render, okay? So with this, you can save your picture. So is okay. everyone okay? Did okay. you manage to Good. get uh, the 2.0 distance uh, files? Yes. Yes? Yes. Nice. 
So please um, don't forget uh, everything by tomorrow because we will start from here. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. It was uh, so great. I guess uh, the class uh, got a good advance today. They are so smart and uh, Absolutely. clever. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I believe uh, Enrique and I can help help uh, Arthur and Josiane, okay, with the VI problems that they they had. Uh, we can see tomorrow at the same link. Uh, by okay. the is, uh... Michael, please. Uh, sorry. Okay. So thank you, Julia. Uh, thank see you. you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. You too. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, Professor. See you.